What is going on? Welcome back to another relatively long video of uh, FIFA 13 Karima. This is episode 24, I believe. We started with a sim match against Newcastle in the Champions Cup. I felt pretty brave, but we actually get a three-month injury on Mark Andre to Stegen. Speaking of to Stegen, I really am not fond of him at the moment. I'm looking for a good keeper to swap him with. He is not growing very fast whatsoever. And um, actually, as a matter of fact, um, during the time that he was injured, he went down in two overall points in about half the time that it took him to grow four. Actually, no, a quarter of... No, much, much less. I'm just going to say that much, much, much less than the time it got him to grow four points. So I think I'm going to have to look for a new keeper. I will look around for a high potential one. So I know Burnt Leno's out there, and I'll try and have a look around for some other ones that not many people know of, maybe even Loris if I get lucky enough and I have enough money in the transfer window uh, in the summer because I don't have much money for this one that's coming up and will be in this episode. But anyway, let's get into the commentary again. Instead of talking about goalkeepers, we won and drew a couple of simmed matches and now we have a match away against Augsburg who actually were in the relegation zone last season but now now they're doing quite well actually, I think they're about 12th and we're winning 2-1 and we get another goal from Balotelli to, I think that's to finish his hat-trick in the 68th minute and that's how the match is going to end, 3-1, uh, an exciting match, I was a bit scared when we went 2-1, uh, when it went, became 2-1 but you know, we scored again right afterwards and I felt pretty good but um this is the start of the January transfer window. This isn't going to be something I'm going to be buying players in. Uh, if anything, I'll be selling them, and I probably won't be selling many either. I don't think I actually sell a player. Just a bit of a spoiler for you guys and gals. I probably shouldn't be very sexist with this kind of thing. But we have a squad report, and I have a few really nice players in, in, in here. Some Germans, some English. But we'll see how they grow, because some of them have pretty low top potentials but I asked for 25 million I know they won't give me any I hope they would give me some money but they actually give me none maybe because I asked for too much so I asked for 10 million and uh, I carried on a bit more and I think yeah they said it was excessive and that's fine really I didn't really want to buy any players but we get a transfer offer for Blaszczykowski I think 15.5 million that's a decent deal I'll go on to I go on to submit off and then I think, no, 25.5 million. I don't know what was going through my head. I would have sold him for 20-ish, um, but that's about it. He he said he was going to stay put, and I'd only sell him for 25. I might even get a new winger in the summer transfer window, but we get an offer for Marco Royce from Bayern. Because they're in my league, I want lots of money. I'd probably send for 65.5, but I said 75.5, because Bayern are rich and they're in my league, and they say no, obviously. And so we carry on into the transfer window. They say no to Blaszczykowski. And then we got get some an um, offer from Milan for Ilkay Gondogan. They offer 10.5. He's worth 13.5. I have no idea why. So I would counter off a 35.5. Maybe a bit excessive, but, you know. Mats Hummels wants more money. I say 1.5 for three years. He, he, I believe he actually says no to that. We'll see soon. Uh, -dum -dum. Oh yeah, some uh, squad report. Yeah, he's going to turn down the contract. I'm like, damn it. He is probably going to be one of the best defenders in the next few years. So what I say is, stuff this, I'm going to give him lots and lots of money. So I gave him 130000 for an extra three, three years on this contract. And I think he, ex yep, he, he accepts it, as you could see there. And... Uh, I actually have him for six years, four months now, on £130,000. That's not too bad, seeing as in this transfer window, I wasn't making any transfers, and I really, I had money to spare, and I know they'd give it back to me in the summer, but I might as well keep a, one of the best defenders in the game for another seven years or so, I think it was. he would probably retire by then, six years and four months, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Now we have a game gone up against FC Bayern Munich. I must say guys that there is a live commentary part where I say hey guys welcome to the episode but this is actually a two part commentary. One is live commentary which is the next part and one is just commentary which is this part. So if I say goodbye very quickly I'm really sorry and if I say hello again I'm really sorry again. But we managed to score 
in the 34th minute with Neymar a uh, header which is very very strange for Neymar he's not the heading type we managed to get a free kick with Neymar but I chose Gert to, to go on the side and he chips it up for Royce takes it in one touch and an absolute smasher into the back of the net in the 39th minute that's pretty much all that happened to be honest nothing else happened in the match they got a few chances but that is pretty much it but I hope you have enjoyed this part of the video now let's get on to the live commentary Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Dortmund career mode video. As I said, Dortmund career mode, today we are going to be playing some Dortmund career mode. That's three times in a sentence, beat it. And don't get angry with me in the comments because I can say what I want. But anyway, we've got two matches coming up. I think I'm going to have a look at the calendar to see what's going on before we get into it. So we've got a match against Wolfsburg at home, I'll sim that. And a match against FC Colin Clouton. I was close. And uh, then we've got a match against VfB Stuttgart. Then we've got one of the Deutsche Cup Pokal against Dusseldorf. I don't know names. Then we've got a couple of friendlies, which I'll sim. Then I think I'll finish off with a match against Chelsea in this episode. Um, I th yeah, I think that's how we're going to roll. So we might as well um, just sort out the team. We have some fitness issues and... Uh, I think I'll leave it here and uh, you'll see what happens. Right, so we might as well uh, sim this match, seeing as it's home. They've got quite a few injuries, actually. Uh, I think they had four injuries before. I think they have a couple of players on really long. Yeah, Karlenberg and Bruno Cesar have really long injuries, I believe. So they have a couple of good players from their team off, but they do have Dost, and Dost is a quality striker. But, oh, we draw 2-2, two -two, actually. That is very very surprising. I know they're Wolfsburg and all, but I'm surprised that we drew. I think we would have maybe been able to pull out a win. It's not the end of the world. I'm still several points. I'm 13 points ahead of Bayern in the table, and they don't have a game over me, so I am doing very well. And we've got a match against uh, Dusseldorf here, I believe. Uh, I'll just uh, submit the squad. The dimmest one bat of all time. I forgot to live commentate over this part because I'm the dim dimmest one bat of all time. We managed to win 4 1. Gertz, uh, yeah, I knew I'd get one, it said, 88, 21 years old, 60, 61, they say 58, they're offering big, big money, but he is probably the best cam in career mode on the game, so if I were to sell him, I'd sell him for 150 million, only because if I were to sell him, I'd want a whole better team for the money. Yeah, thought so. There we go, sixty-four point eight seven five spent. Uh no. No. Yes. No what 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 no. Yeah, I've already submitted it. Right, let's play this, and let's try and get ahead a bit more in the league. Uh, they have Ulrich in goal, good goalkeeper. It was Sevich, Grobskruts. Grobskruts isn't amazing compared to my... T oh gosh, no, I'm not playing Neymar. Oh no, I was meant to be playing Neymar this match. Oh well. Yes break the deadlock in the 18th minute. Around the 20th minute, I always score goals around then. Oh, what a goal. Marco Royce. 
Oh. I had a bit of a delayed reaction there because I forgot I was doing a live commentary, but what a goal. Oh my gosh. That is the best thing to do for a free kick. I am also an so very stupid. I forgot that I was doing a live commentary again and we managed to win this match. Feeling kind of brave simming this. Do I want to? Uh... Fortuna, they've got a good team. Oh, come on, we, we can win this, come on. Four nil. Four nil. Aha. Yes. Good team. I'm not going to lie, Netherlands have. Not a very good defence, though. 2 0 at home. Wilshire getting an opening goal in the third minute. Not bad. I have a good goalkeeper in check, and I have Classiel, who's not bad. Straight away. And we end up winning 3 1. Well, back with two, Walker with one in the first minute. Maybe he just got the ball, took a long shot, and scored. Big match. Semi finals, is it? Not sure. This was the round of 16. Nowhere near the semi finals. Stupid Chris. That's past Chris, not. But. Very strong lineup from them, very strong from us. Luckily, they can't score because they have Torres. So, you know, we're going to be fine. Seeing as we only have Langrack and goal, they can't score, they have Torres. Win win. Oh my gosh, holding off two defenders and managed to get a brilliant shot away. What a goal from Rice. Oh, come on. How is that not a foul? Completely blocked me. Luckily, we got a goal back. Just c completely fouled on Malapa, but we got a goal back. What a goal. Lovely finesse shot. Royce is on fire. Oh my gosh. Torres scored. Holy mother of God. There we go. I think that's the end of the game. Yes, it is. And uh, 3-1, a Royce hat-trick all in the first half. And they managed to pull a goal back in the second half. In the 90th minute. But... Uh, that's away, so we probably should be going through with three away goals. Stegen is out of injury, so I'm going to be playing him this match. And, uh, yeah, see how this match goes. 4-0. Oh, yeah. No injuries. Two goals from Balotelli, one from Ibarba, and one from Neymar. Neymar's finally scoring a goal. I hope you have enjoyed this video. This took an absolute age to edit and probably will take even longer to render. Um, so please leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I hope you have enjoyed. Goodbye.